In this video, I'm going to show you how to detect and analyze obfuscated code with AI. Therefore, we take a look at the following calculator program written in Python. As you can see, it implements a simple calculator. Instead of a calculator, it could also be malicious code, but I want to demonstrate the detection technique with harmless code. We can start the calculator with the command python calc.py. Afterwards, a graphical user interface opens and allows us to do some calculations. But that's the boring stuff of this video. We now want to do the obfuscation. Obfuscation in the context of programming refers to the practice of making code or data confusing to read or interpret. The primary aim of obfuscation is to protect the code from being easily understood, copied or reverse engineered. We can use Base64 encoding to obfuscate code. Base64 encoding is a method that can be used to obfuscate data or code by transforming it into a string of ASCII characters that are not readable or understandable. While Base64 is primarily a way of encoding binary data for safe transmission or storage as text, it can also serve a secondary purpose as a simple form of obfuscation. Base64 takes binary data or text and encodes it into a text format using a set of 64 characters. Every three bytes of binary data are converted into our Base64 characters, padding with equal signs as necessary to ensure that the length of the final encoded string is a multiple of 4. We can use Cyberchef to convert code into a Base64 encoded string. Therefore, we select the toBase64 operation and paste the Python code we want to encode into the input field. Down here we find the encoded string containing our Python code. To make this code runnable in Python, we first import the library base64. Afterwards, we define a variable e that we assign the previously created base64 string containing the code for our calculator. Finally, we call the function b64decode on our base64 library and pass the base64 encoded string. On the result, we call the method decode passing the argument utf8 and pass the decoded result as a parameter to the function exec, which stands for execute. If we now start this obfuscated Python program, we get the same functionality, but for a potential malware scanner, we have created a layer of obfuscation that could potentially bypass simplistic detection mechanisms. Now we want to use AI, more specifically ChatGPT, to analyze the functionality of the program. Therefore, we copy the code of our obfuscated program and create the following prompt. What does the following code do? and directly behind that, our obfuscated code. ChatGPT detects that the code has been encoded using Base64. It decodes it in the background and provides an explanation about what the code does. The provided Python code is a Base64 encoded script. When decoded and executed, it creates a simple calculator application using the Tkinter library. You can even ask for security risks. Using eval in Python, especially in a scenario like a calculator, can be potentially dangerous if not handled carefully. If you want to integrate an LLM-based malware detector in your applications, you can use the API from OpenAI and pass the code to be analyzed. I've already created a video in which I show you how to integrate this API into your program. You'll find the link in the video description down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.